subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hydrogen sulfide or H2S is the primary gas produced from the microbial breakdown of organic matter in the absence of oxygen. The gas is often behind the deaths of sewage workers who are forced to clean blocked sewers without using protective gear. Easy detection of its emission from sewers is thus an important line of research. Scientists at the Centre for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences in Bangalore, working with researchers from King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia, have developed a tiny sensor that can sniff out hydrogen sulphide, which is a poisonous, corrosive and flammable gas produced from swamps and sewers. The research has been published in the journal Material Horizons, the link to which you can find in the description box below. The team has tried to imitate the neuron that is responsible for identification of airborne molecules in humans. This is known as the olfactory receptor neuron. They achieved this by combining a layer of monomer known as trisketohydrazone with what is known as a field effect transistor. The top layer made of trisketohydrazone is porous and contains molecules that react with H2S. The second layer is an organic field effect transistor. In electronics, a field effect transistor is a three-terminal active device that uses electric field to control the current flow. In the electronic nodes developed by the researchers, when the top layer detects hydrogen sulphide, it selectively traps the gas molecules, initiating an acid-base chemical reaction. This reaction then gives rise to HS anions or negatively charged ions, which then cause a change in the charge flowing through the organic field effect transistor just below it. This change in charge flow can thus indicate the presence of hydrogen sulphide gas. The scientists found that they were able to detect the gas even at concentrations as low as 25 parts per billion. The sensor is smaller than the tip of the finger and can be used for at least 8 months without its performance being compromised. The researchers suggest that their device could in future be also tweaked to be used in other types of sensing applications. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. Visit theprint.in and follow us on social media for the latest news updates.